forgot the thing I was gonna say, so I'm just gonna do huh? this thing, and it's a ranty poem. So yeah, go. <laughs> What are we even doing here? Busting in your asses and breaking our backs, sitting in classes 50 minutes at a time, yes. pushing the lectures on Philip K. Dick and communism and Immanuel Kant, regurgitating information in the form of term papers written to please a professor no matter the cost, and Mountain Dew and Starbucks and Papa John's. Just turn it in, even if you lose your mind, somewhere between page seven and the Adderall, snorted through a roll 20. <laughs> nah, who am I kidding? A fiber, if you're lucky. Whatever's left over after paying tuition out of pocket costs more per year than the total price of my O2 Pontiac, even after $30,000 in academic scholarships earned through the blood, sweat, and tears of a 16-year-old kid afraid of never leaving home, never living the life the brochures and films painted with their Greek parties and relationship drama as if all that as if that's all there is to the social experiment. Putting kids, we're really just kids, in a high stress, high stakes, debt making institution, telling them it'll all pay off, but only if they can find employment six months after tossing that mortarboard into the May sky, before Uncle Sam wants his money back. There are no guarantees. My waiter the other day had two masters, and Steve Jobs never finished his degree. So what does that say for me? I'm a writer. I could do that without a BA, just BS my way into a job, climb Jacob's ladder into a book deal. <laughs> like that'll actually happen. A high school diploma can get you through the golden arches and earn you an extensive collection of name tags and hairnets, while a college degree can earn you a pile of debt and an unpaid internship at some company that has nothing to do with your major, but they'll give you excellent networking opportunities. So maybe one day, if you're lucky and you pay your dues, kid, you can actually achieve your dreams. Your parents and teachers so lovingly encourage you to follow. You can be anything you want to be if you put your mind to it. And maybe your parents' life savings and then some. Put on that interview suit, slap on your face, cover up those tattoos, take out your piercings, become that brochure cover, smiling, racially inclusive, diverse campus after high school child for your liberal arts school. Where you learn to balance, balance four classes, two jobs, five extracurriculars, friendships, a relationship, your family back home, and the ever looming future. I did some math here. You can see the <laughs> figures later, but I won't bore you with the statistical analysis of an average college student's day. But when it boils down to it, taking out all the stuff we do in a day, classes and life and all, there's just over three hours for everything else under the sun. Wiggle room in my schedule, travel time, sex, taking a dump, random meetings and appointment, those two extra hours of sleep I miss every night, applications for summer jobs and internships, but let's be real. When was the last time I only spent six hours on just an essay? I've got two of those due this week and a test to study for. Everything's moving so fast, three hours isn't even realistic. Maybe that sounds like a lot, but you'd be surprised how fast three hours goes by. The average American watches 34 hours of TV a week. Are you shitting me? No, I ain't got the time. <laughs> when are we supposed to smell the roses, lay out on the grass, and decide whether that cloud is a fire-breathing dragon or a fluffy kitty? <laughs> My friend used to watch the clouds from the sill of his window, now he's moved to the first floor because people aren't born with wings. But Red Bull will give you wings, and Absolute will make sure you absolutely don't remember last night. We've got to learn to forget in order to live. The memories and facts and vocab sheets fill your brain with a thousand voices. Have you running to the resource center or in the guise of needing a tutor when all you really need to do is have someone tell you you aren't crazy. You're living the best four years of your life. Welcome to college. Woo!